since this tutorial is a little longer and more complex, I've uploaded a finished version of the project under this game ID so you can follow along or pick up if you get lost. We start with a basic person node on, left, right, up, down stick movement, and the right stick is mapped to the camera. Everything has its default settings for now. We're going to add a simple object, box, make it as small as possible, and connect the camera and the person node onto it. Make it invisible and non-destructive. Immediately, we have something workable, we're in the right place, and we have our first person controls. We'll go back into the programming screen, and we'll also make our person node on invisible. Now we have a basic first person controller. We can move around in space, jump, and look around with the right stick. We can adjust the movement, speed, and jump speed through the person node on, which makes things easier. Now we can start working on a basic first person rig. Now we'll start with the head node on, which occupies a finite space where the camera is located. Then we'll attach a box and a cylinder. We will change the size of the box to 0.40 on the X scale and 0.10 on the Y scale. We'll switch the connection points to Y plus and Y negative. When we hit play, we can see that we now have a bar across the bottom of the screen. We're going to use this as a sort of scaffolding to build on top of. Now the cylinder, we can change the X size to 0.20 and the Y size to 1.80. We can change the X rotation to 90. We change the connection points to X minus and X plus. Now when we hit play, we can see we have the general shape of a gun on the right side. Now we can add in our launcher node on and connect it to the cylinder. We'll change the launch direction to Y positive and the size to 0 0.20 on all three axes. The launch speed can be set to the maximum, which is 100, and the launch interval can be adjusted to 0 0.10. Now we'll hit play. We have a pretty rapid firing first person shooter. So we'll add a button to control this. We'll use the ZR button in this case. The timer is not necessary, but if you want to adjust how often you can fire in the future or add things to this tutorial, it would make sense to have. The ZR button will connect to the timer, the timer to the launcher, and we're going to add in a sound effect. In this case, we can use the concrete collision. See how that looks. We can move around. We have a first person rig some kind of firing device, and projectiles. We can spruce this up by making the center square of the scaffolding invisible, and we can add a world node on and change the world to destructive so that the floor also breaks the projectiles. As our bonus objective, you'll be able to look down the sights or better aim your gun or blaster. We're going to do this with an X slide connector and we're going to put it in between the cylinder and the box. You can add a button press, in this case ZL. I'm realizing now that the constant and the anode on are not necessary, but I put them in there anyways. We'll add another constant node on with a 0.3 negative value. We'll need a calculate node on set to multiply to change the button signal from 1 into negative 0.30. This is the position where I've determined that the cylinder is in the center of the screen. Now you can aim down the sides for more accurate shots. That's it for this tutorial. There are lots of ways to extend this and add more features to it, and I added a few of those in the downloadable template. 
Try it out. Let me know what you think.